Hi, everyone. Dr. Susan Brown, director of the Center for Better Bones. You know, recently I've been getting a lot of questions about collagen. One reader writes, my question is about collagen and bone broth. I have been using powder, collagen powder daily and trying to drink bone broth as often as I can. I just wondered if there's a connection to bone health. And she goes on to say, intuitively, I think there should be. And yes, I think it's reasonable to suspect that collagen is really going to be beneficial for bone. Bone has a lot of collagen in it, and it's likely that if we take collagen and we digest it well, and that might be the trick with collagen, that we can produce those peptides, which could be protein building box for our own collagen. We're going to talk more about collagen in the future. There's several types of collagen. There's types of collagen that pertain to the hair, skin, and nails. In fact, if your nails are weak, if you can flick your thumb and those nails seem soft, it's you know you will probably benefit from collagen. And the reader who wrote that question might look and see have her nails improve with collagen. Some people notice their hair improve. Of course, we can't notice bone, but uh, I think there's very favorable studies on collagen and bone, and we'll be reviewing those studies for you soon. The types of collagen, types one and three are in the hair and nails, skin, the bones, that's very good. There's about five known types of collagen. Uh, we like to get as many of those as possible. We'll discuss collagen in more detail later, but a good idea. Um, the bone broth is a really a very nice food, a concentrated essence of those bones. Um, it's been used traditionally around the world wherever they eat, may eat meat. You can bet they took good advantage to use those bones, and cooking those bones is one way to do it, much less a bone soup or a very concentrated broth. Bone broth is tasty, healthy. I think it d could offer some collagen benefits. I know the bone broth I use has about 9 grams of protein in it, uh, which is probably mostly in collagen. But I wouldn't depend for my bone health on bone broth. I would say a nice adjunct, a nice thing to add to soups, a nice warming drink for certainly much better than other warm drinks we tend to take. I think it's a great idea. All the better if you can make your own. Uh, someone else asks um, if they can kind of depend on bone broth for their minerals. This I wouldn't do. Uh, bone broth is not very high in minerals. It has a nice essence to it, um, some collagen, but I wouldn't at all ever depend upon it for my minerals for bone growth. Now, if you ground up that bone, if you dried out that bone, if you chewed on the chicken leg and chewed that bone, ate the bone, then you'll get the minerals, but not in the broth. Okay, a lot of fun talking to you. Have fun with your bone broth.